Hey there, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. Now before I get into the video, I want to wish our viewers a happy belated Thanksgiving. I hope all of you had a safe and fun time with your friends and family. And for those of you that didn't get to do anything this year, well, guess what? In 2021, hopefully you'll be able to make it up. Now, let's get into the topic of today's video. So for those of you that haven't been following, I put together two other videos that highlight the best home battery backup option on the market. In part one of the video series, we had four DC coupled batteries face off with Qcells Qhome ESS taking the win. In part two of the video series, we had four AC coupled batteries face off with SMA America Sunny Boy Storage with the BYD B-Box 10H battery taking the win. In this final video, we'll be putting these two batteries against each other and against the very popular Tesla Powerwall 2. I've opted to include the Powerwall to show you that there are other options that are as good or maybe even better than the Powerwall, depending on what you're looking for from a solar plus battery backup solution. Is it time of use, self-consumption, backup only, or a combination of the three? Either way, after this video, you'll have a better idea of which option is best for you, and you'll be able to request a hassle-free quote from us by using the link in the description below. Yeah. You didn't think I was going to just let this one slide without requesting for a free quote. So hit us up if you're in Southern California by using that link in the description below. Alrighty. So a quick synopsis on the point system I developed based on the following categories. Each category will be worth a maximum of 10 points. The higher the number, the better they are with the except for pricing. This category is split into two categories, entry level price and maximum price, with each being worth five points. A quick note for the price. I will be assuming these are full systems, meaning they will include a solar and the battery system, so they are not for retrofitting. All systems will be using the same solar panels, the 23 Qcells Qpeak Duo Black G6 plus 340 watt modules. These have been our most popular modules throughout 2020, and that gives you a pretty reasonable solar system size of 7.82 kilowatts. But each will use different solar inverters, so that's important to note. The Tesla Powerwall 2 system will be using Enphase Energy microinverters. The SMA America Sunny Boy storage solution will be paired up with an SMA America Sunny Boy inverter for the solar system. And the QHome Plus ESS will be using QCell's hybrid G1 7.6 inverter because this is the only DC coupled solution, whereas the other two are AC coupled. And I almost forgot, here are the categories. Maximum solar system size for batteries, storage capacity of batteries in kilowatt hours, battery backup amps continuous and surge, battery backup kilowatts continuous and surge, round trip efficiency, depth of discharge, warranty, and finally the price. So with all that said, let's get into comparing and find out who has the best home battery backup solution. And if you're enjoying this video, please take a second to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. We have some great holiday content coming that may just help you find the perfect geek gift for that geeky loved one. Now that we've covered the final details, let's start with the maximum solar system size allowed for these systems. This is relevant for all homeowners if they plan on adding on to the system over the year. Sure, maybe your current energy consumption is low, but what if you buy an electric vehicle or maybe you put a pool in? Your ability to expand on the solar is an important question. So. Qcell's Qhome ESS offers you 10.32 kilowatts of DC power. SMA America's Sunny Boy storage solution offers you 12 kilowatts AC. Tesla Powerwall 2 can honestly be paired to any, from my understanding, solar system. So it doesn't matter the size. Maximum usable storage capacity of the batteries in kilowatt hours. 
I know I'm starting to sound like a broken record, especially if you've watched our other videos, but this is a very important question to ask your sales rep if you're not getting a quote from us, because many sales reps and ads will misrepresent the actual energy you can use from the battery. It may, for example, say something like 20.1 kilowatt hours, but in reality, you're only getting 18 kilowatt hours of real usable energy. So sure, the batteries as a whole are 20, but they have to have a set amount reserved aside so that way it will ensure longevity of the batteries. It's for the life of them. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS offers you 18.9 kilowatt hours. There may be a 25.2 kilowatt hour option in the future, but for right now, it's only the 18.9. SMA America's SBS is 30.72 kilowatt hours, and this is using BYD B-Box 10H batteries, so you need three of them to get to this rating. Tesla Powerwall 2, each Powerwall is rated at 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy, and again, that's per Powerwall. You could connect up to six of them together for a total 81 kilowatt hours, though I don't know too many people that would. Battery backup amps continuous. For those of you interested in backup capabilities, the amount of amps the system can provide continuously is very important because it really dictates how much you can actually back up during a power outage. Are you just backing up, you know, three or four circuits of your home or six, eight, 10, 12 circuits? This is what really dictates that. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 32 amps. SMA America's SBS, 32 amps. Tesla Powerwall 2, 13.75 amps per Powerwall, up to 82.5 amps if you buy six of them and have them all connected together. In most scenarios, homeowners are receiving two to three Powerwalls. So you would need three Powerwalls to have a little bit more power than the SMA and the Q cell system. If you bought just two of them, you can do the math. I mean, it's relatively easy. It's 27 and a half kilowatt hours. Battery backup amp surge. Again, just like continuous amps, the surge of amps is equally important because it has to do with the startup amps needed for larger appliances like the microwave or the refrigerator. These devices have a spike in amps compared to say an outlet or a light bulb that's really more continuous power draw. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 36 amps. SMA America's SBS, 50 amps. Tesla Powerwall 2, 24 amps per Powerwall, up to 144 amps, again, if you have six of them connected together. So the more you buy, the more amps you get out of them. In this scenario, two of them get you just shy of the SMA America SBS. You would need three of them to beat that system. Battery backup kilowatts continuous. The amps and kilowatts continuous go hand in hand, and it's better to look at this in terms of watts rather than kilowatts because that's how many of the devices around your home are actually rated, like an LED light bulb. When you look at the top of it, it might say eight watts, or the toaster oven might have a rating of 1500 watts. So look at this in watts, and it'll be much easier to understand the value of the system. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 7,500 watts. SMA America SBS, 6,000 watts. Tesla Powerwall 2, 3,300 watts per Powerwall, up to 15,360 watts if six of them are connected together. Battery backup kilowatt surge. This follows the surge in amps. When these larger devices spike, they need power to operate, and that's where the surge in watts comes into play. It's worth noting that most surges are rated for less than 30 seconds because that's usually how long the device actually needs the surge in watts and amps before it goes back to a continuous power rating. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 8,360 watts. SMA America SBS, 9,300 watts. The Tesla Powerwall 2, 5,800 watts per Powerwall up to 34,800 watts if six of them are connected together. Round trip efficiency. So this is a unique category that many people can easily overlook. 
not realizing that over time, this efficiency rating is literally costing them a significant amount of energy. Now, not money, I mean, it does cost you money, but it, it's really costing you energy. What I mean by this is that when the solar system is producing excess power, it will charge the batteries. That's an efficiency loss because it's going from DC to AC and back to DC. And then when the batteries begin to discharge, they're going from DC to AC. So that's another area of energy loss. Anytime you have to convert between the two, you're losing energy. The best way to put it for you is for every one kilowatt hour energy you put in, you're getting a smaller percentage of it back, say 90%. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS is 96.5%. It is worth noting that this system will be a higher efficiency rating than SMA and Tesla because it's DC coupled. That means the DC power from the solar system goes directly to the DC batteries. There is no conversion for that. And then it, no matter what, the inverter only converts the energy one time. SMA America SBS, it's 95.3% according to their spec sheets. I have not been able to, I find it to be a very high efficiency rating for round trip, but from all the documentation from BYD and SMA, it is one of the best out there on the market. Tesla Powerwall 2, 90%. This is pretty standard for most AC coupled systems. Depth of discharge. Now, this is tied to what I was discussing in the beginning on maximum usable storage capacity of the batteries. This is basically letting you know how much of the battery you can actually get to use, which helps you provide a value to the battery because the more you can use, the better you're getting in value. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 90% of the batteries. SMA America SBS, 100% of the batteries. Tesla Powerwall 2, 96.5% of the batteries. Battery warranty. Determining how soon or often you'll need to replace the batteries is important. Some systems are modular, like SMA's BYD B-Boxes or Q-Cell's Q-Home. So if you had to replace a battery in say 12 or 15 years, it would likely be inexpensive because it's just the one battery that needs to be replaced, not the entire system. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, 10 years or 56.7 megawatt hours. SMA America SBS, 10 years or 30.82 megawatt hours. That's with the BYD batteries. Tesla Powerwall 2, 10 years or 37.8 megawatt hours. And finally, price. Keep in mind the pricing shown is for a turnkey solar and storage system. Now, if you've been enjoying the video so far, please take a second and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, you know, down below, like the video, give it a good thumbs up. We really appreciate the support. Starting with the estimated maximum system price before the tax credit and then after the 22% federal tax credit. And I guess it is kind of worth noting because I don't know if you knew this, but the tax credit for solar and batteries will be expiring at the end of 2021. So if you're interested in a system, then now is absolutely the best time to get a quote because you are going to miss out on a significant savings if you wait. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, $41,190 before the tax credit. Afterwards, it's $32,128. SMA America SBS, $66,824 before the tax credit, $52,122 after. Tesla Powerwall 2, $98,412 before and $76,761 after. Now your quote may vary, but this again is with six Tesla Powerwalls for whole home backup. So you have your 200 amp auto transfer switch and a 7.82 kilowatt solar system. So don't expect it to be crazy cheap, even if my numbers are off slightly, maybe by five or $10,000, because maybe there's some promotions going on. It's, it's still more than the other two options. Moving on to the estimated entry system price before the tax credit, and then again after the federal investment tax credit. Q-Cell's Q-Home ESS, $30,747. Tesla Powerwall 2, 
before and $23,982,000 after. SMA America SBS, $42,838 before, $33,414 after. Tesla Powerwall 2, $36,612 before, $28,558 after. Again, your Tesla pricing might vary depending on who you are working with, if you're working with Tesla directly or if you're working with one of their preferred partners. So there you have it. All the points for each category. Now, before you go thinking my points are biased because as you can tell, um, QSL won. I wanna mention that I'm not passing or basing the system on their maximum rating and I'm talking about the Powerwall. And for those of you that think I should, just stop because not everyone is going to need or want to spend the money on two or three Powerwalls. Because as you can see, you need to purchase two Powerwalls to have more backup capabilities than an SMA America system. And you have to, and you need three Powerwalls to have more backup capabilities than the Qcell system. Sure. The Powerwall has a ridiculous amount of storage and I did give Tesla the win for the maximum storage capacity because each unit is 13 and a half kilowatt hours, which beats the individual units for both SMA and Q cells. But I've just reviewed eight different manufacturers and no one has anywhere near the scalable storage as Tesla and you have to wonder why. Is it because market research shows we don't really need 40 kilowatt hours of battery storage? I would have to say yes. I think the Powerwall 2 is a really good option. It really is. But I also believe that there are better battery backup solutions on the market. Thus the purpose of this video series to show you that you can get more for your money, whether it's for retrofitting a battery to an existing solar system or to get a turnkey solar plus storage solution that's all integrated by the same manufacturer. We offer just about every battery I discussed in this video and if you're interested in getting a quote for any of them and you want battery backup, then head over to our website by using the link in the description below and if you mention this video when you get a call from one of our reps, great, we're gonna give you an additional $500 off if there's no other promotions going on for the product that you're requesting for. So we appreciate it. Please be sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Thanks again.